Hello everyone. Today we'll be making a nether portal. And in this nether portal, we're going to use command blocks and summon a wither and blaze. So what we're going to use is learn to mod, and that will be the tool that we're using to code today. Before we begin, we're first going to look at the project, and then we're going to start coding. So here we're going to look at our mod that we've made. So first, I would suggest you to click on mod and then head back to your Minecraft. Then we move into our nether land here. So we have quite a few withers already. So, so first, open your mod here, and then click on it, bring it here, press on one, click on this. Then you press on T, type in blaze, press on T, type in summon, and you have blaze all over the place. And for wither, you just type in T, wither, T again, summon. And you get withers over here. So if you want more blaze, T again, blaze, and T, summon. So now we're going to make our project. Let's head into learn to mod, log in, click on play, click on the arrow, and then click on mods. Once we're here, we're going to type in nether entities. Since I already have this project, I'm going to have to put a number two and then click on block lead multiplayer. Once it loads up, you can click on see inside and then click on code. Once it's loaded, we can head to function, take out function, do something and change this to main. So the next thing we want to do is click on events and take out a do function when blank happens. So in here, we're going to click back on events. We're going to take out this block break event, put it inside, and change this to player chat. So this will run when their player uses the chat function in Minecraft. And it's asking here do function blank. So we're going to be making another function. Head to functions, take out function do something, Change this to nether entities. Then click on the gear, drag out the input name, as this is what our parameter is. And we're going to call it info. So before we begin, we need to think of what we're going to spawn. So we're going to spawn a wither and a blaze. So the first thing we'd like to do is head over to logic. Now in logic, we take out this block here and we duplicate it and add in a equal sign by clicking logic and then putting this here. Next, what we want to add here is we want to take out something called a variable. So we're going to take out this set item. We're going to make a new variable and call it spawn type. So we can duplicate this and bring one here. So for example, if the spawn type is equal to this, then we're going to have a blaze. So for it to equal something, we want to now check what the user types. So in that case, we'll click on the MISC, take out JS code, add one here, and add another one here. So this is going to be info.message. This one also will be info.message. And then here, what we're going to add is if the message is a wither. So in order to do that, click on text, take out a blank text box, add one here, and then add another here. So here you type in wither, here you type in blaze. Then we just copy this and add this here. So what happens with this is if the user types in wither, we're setting the spawn type to wither. If the user types in blaze, we're setting the spawn type to blaze. So next, we want to use a drone to place in this object. So we head into logic and take out an if then, add that here, and then just copy paste this. But instead, we're not going to use info message here. We are going to use the variable spawn type because that's the information that we need. So head to variables, take out spawn type, put one here, and then you can just duplicate this and add 
and this here. So one is blaze and one is wither. So what happens is we now want them to place this. So we click on drone, take out drone place block or mob. We're going to use mob because these are mobs we're referring to. So we take out mob and this here. And then we click on entities and take out this. So we can just duplicate this, add one here, and add another here. So this one is going to be called blaze. This one is our wither. So as that's done, we also need to add in one more logic block. So here, we're going to add a logic block here. And we're going to take these two statements and actually place them inside. The reason being is, when we want to spawn in any type of entity, we'll be using something called a drone. A drone is a device that flies around and it's used in places to deliver food, chocolate, and other items. But in Minecraft, we can use it to place in our entities. So to do that, first, we're gonna click on variables, take out set. We can put this here and change set item. We can re make a new variable, call it D. And then you can put in a drone. So you click on drone, take out new drone, and add this here. So in order to have that work, we click on this and just duplicate it and add it here. But instead, the text that we're going to add here is summon. And then here, to run our function, we have to find this. So this block is in MISC, function main. We're going to change this as it's not going to call itself. We're going to change this to another entities. So let's look at this code and break it down. So first, we've made a function called main. And this is the main function that Minecraft is going to call. So it understands that to run a function called nether entities under the event that the player chats. And when that happens, this function is going to run. Now let's dive into what nether entities function with info is. So we've given it a parameter of info. This is known as some information that the function would need. Then we have said, if info.message is equal to wither, we set the spawn type to wither. Then in the next conditional, it checks to see if the message that the user has sent is equal to blaze. And if that happens, we're setting the spawn type to blaze. So here we have now specified either wither or blaze. Then we have a third conditional saying that if the user has typed in summon in the chat bar, then it will make use of the drone and place this item. And inside of this conditional, we have this nested conditional, which says that if the spawn type is blaze, and that is what the user typed previously, then it will spawn a blaze. On the other hand, if it's if the user is typed in wither, it will then spawn in a wither. So to test this out, let's click on mod over here. And on another window, I have my server open. So all you'd have to do is click on your server, start, click on join server. It will start loading up, which takes around five to seven minutes. And then you can just copy paste your server code. As for me, I'm already in my server. So we're going to look at how it looks. So over here, I have Minecraft. And I'm already on the server. So first, I'm going to change the weather to clear. And we're going to set the time to day. So once that's done, we're going to head to a nether portal. And before we head there, we should make sure that our game mode is set to creative. So now that we're in creative mode, we can head to our portal over here. So this is a portal made with the obsidian blocks. And here we have the portal. So we have to just jump inside and just wait until we're teleported. So over here, we have some withers that are already spawned previously. So let's move along here. So for example, we can open our mod here, select this, and then right click. So first, what we can do is press T, type in wither, and then T, type in some. And then another wither appears here. Then we can type in T, type in blaze, T, and type in summon. 
and it plays fonts over here, as you can see. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to First Code Academy on YouTube for more fun-filled coding tutorials. Thank you very much. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.